Right folks, this is Burwell Parish Council Cemetery. And I haven't been here between 10 and 12 years. And because I'm doing a bit of the Musk family, as well as the Isaacsons, the Brooks, Oaks, and all the others, I've got to look round again. Because I wasn't taken into account m Musk back then. Not properly, not like I do now. So, how are you going to do it? That must be the chapel then. Um, what we're going to do is go up and walk, work our way across. Aren't we? Yeah. We're going out here. This will be enough tonight. Will it? Yeah. Yeah, I could have driven here, but I had to try and wake up. Really, yeah. These are just as important, just because they don't take up so much room. So we'll just go over there and do some of these. Okay. Mm. So this is Burwell's Parish Cemetery because well, they don't bury at the church anymore not without special permission and connections and all that. So what we're going to do, we're going up we're doing these new ones and we're just looking for names. We've been here before um, we've been here before, it's not totally new, but there will be a lot of new ones here since I was here last. You're talking to show between 10 and 15 years ago. I think it was one of the times I came to Burwell to camp, and the woman was an Isaacson, and she told me about this graveyard. And I probably might have recorded it then. It'll be somewhere. I haven't done it for a while. So what we do now is called scanning. So I'm going to turn off the video. Alright. And put it on if we find anything. Okay, yeah, over now. She found a Brooks. First one today, apart from the old ones. Like the really old ones. This is uh, flat down now. It's been flattened. George Hedget Brooks, born on the 14th of August 1888, died the 13th of September 1968, so he was 80 odd, and he's an Agnes Phyllis Brooks. She was born 17th of October 1896, and died the 26th of February 1986, so she lived 90. So um, I made a note of them. They might be 
there aren't many brooks around so it's quite likely that they will be connected and I might have I might have seen them before I might have seen them before it's like there's a bridgeman there I, d I haven't been really doing much on the bridgemans but um I'll just take that pit that picture yeah lying flat Reginald Jennings seems to be a common name. Reginald. Leslie and Ernest. They all seem to be very popular names at the end about that time. This will be the last. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere else unless I suddenly get a spurt of energy. And I might nip to Dullingham, but it is getting late and cooler, and I'd rather do it on a after a, a good sleep. But no, I won't be doing Dullingham this time. Dullingham's been done thoroughly in the past. Um, so I would be doing down on this on, on this guess. I normally I would have done it like on the day like today on Sunday. George Peachy seems to be a common name as well. Harry Peachy. Oh, it's a musk. There we go. We found a musk, everyone. In loving memory of Gladys Ivy Musk, who died the 21st of June 1954, aged 41. Quite young, wasn't she? And her husband, Cecil John Musk. He died the 19th of November 1969, aged 63. So we've got Cecil John Musk and his wife, Gladys Ivy. So there you are, look. They will be related to her too long because it's such a sort of rare name. Let's just put it in perspective of the rest of the cemetery then. Like I do with all the others. I probably didn't even record that one last time. Like an open book it is. Would have looked really nice when it was brand new and white and creamy coloured. Would have looked very nice. Right, so it's worth looking still because we found a musk. Like I said, these ones are particularly difficult to read. Really are. Um... Really, really hard to read, these are. Another one of those book ones. Norman Stanley White. Walter Andrew Bridgman. Died in 1952, age 75, and his wife, Elizabeth Bridgman. She lived to the age of 90 in 1911. So, so far we've got seven musks that we have found today. An open book one right on the end there, behind that blue pot. That's the musk grave. 
right on the corner there. There's a George William Parr. We better go and do him. And Florrie Parr. And Silver Irene Jean Shaw. I reckon they're bead musk up. Um. Yeah, I reckon they'd be musks, so um, do you? Mm. That might have to be a separate visit because I, might, I probably will want to go again. We've really got to be very organised when you go. Have we? Mm. So you've got everything. Well, I haven't brought, I haven't brought any documents really. I didn't print anything off. I mean, normally I do. <laughs> I've got trees printed off, um, you know. Oh, there's another par here. In loving memory of a dear husband and father, Harry Parr. Killed by enemy action, July the 24th, 1942, aged 67. Also, his beloved wife, Eliza Pleasance, who passed away 1956, aged 80. So he was killed in enemy action. Harry Parr. Down there, look. It's best to do this. Doesn't matter if we have to go home early, Shill. You've done so well, girl. Want a cup of tea, really? You're, you're getting dehydrated as well. Yep, I know. Mama. Another par. Oh, is, is this a par? It's another par here. Alice Par. And George Par. It's an old one. Alice died age 74. October 18 or 1988. And George died in, looks like it's 1980. Quite a recent one, but the colour plucker have got it. Then you've got another one there, um, Richard Adam Parr, died in 1943, age 88, and Melinda Parr, who died in 1953, age 81. We've got quite a few Parrs. I mean, the only reason I'm putting them down is because they're, they're linked to the Isaacsons. Um, somewhere back in time, so it could all be basically related. I'm not doing every single one, by the way. I'm still basically I'm scanning, and there'll probably be quite a few missed out. Um, 
that I've got the other side to do yet. It's going on for five now. By the time we get back, um, it's going to be six-ish. And um, it all takes time. Right, let's go up here now. Because we found a musk. Let's turn off for a minute. Right, found a brook. It wasn't a brook, it's a brook. It is a brook. A rectangular grave with a headstone. And on it, it says Edith Maria Brook. A 65 from 1874 to 1939. Faith, hope and love. Then underneath you've got Muriel Charlotte Brooke, who died the 23rd of April 1972, aged 93. So it was worth waiting, wasn't it? Because we we did find one in the end. Two Brooks we found. There's Muriel. It's Muriel Charlotte. down there like that look so many of those aren't readable though there could be more in here there could be more it's quite tiring doing three actually doing this it's quite I've forgotten how tiring it is on your legs and everything. Concentration. And of course when you can't read anything.